hey what is up everyone how's everybody doing oh let me fix this <laughs> had to fix that um how are you guys doing i am doing great doing fantastic now this isn't a review this isn't good girls review this isn't um animal kingdom review no <sighs> i might i might add this into the lineup that we're doing and you're gonna get the review on Saturday because this show comes on Friday. So you might get a review next week, okay, with this show. Now, very excited because I am still shook on yesterday's episode. You guys, I have Disney Plus. And when Disney Plus first launched, I automatically got it because I am a Disney fan i love all things everything disney okay it's like <laughs> disney has my money okay disney has been taking my money for a long time okay with going to the theaters and watching the animation movies okay disney and pixar movies and then um with the marvel movies and now with disney plus disney is just gonna keep taking my money and i'm fine with it okay i am fine with it because i love disney um now, I am now a part of the Marvel Universe fan base, all thanks to Black, Black Panther. Because ever since Black Panther came out a couple of years ago, Black Panther is the reason why I am in love with Marvel movies, because of that. And after watching Black Panther, I watched all of the movies from the first one with, you know, Iron Man to when Infinity Wars was going to come out. And I've been watching Marvel ever since. I've been watching every single Marvel movie ever since. Every time a Marvel movie comes in the theaters, I am going to watch it thanks to Black Panther. Okay, now. WandaVision. WandaVision came out a couple of weeks ago. Okay. I've, I've watched it. I was confused in the first two episodes. Episode three explained a little bit, but episode four, the one that came on yesterday, explained a whole lot. And Marvel, you try to confuse me, you try to get me confused, but I understand. I understand what's going on and I will tell y'all my theory when I'm done. But I'm just going to give y'all like a little synopsis of, you know, episodes one, two, and three, and recently episode four. And then I'm going to give y'all, okay, my idea. Okay. So episode one. So basically it's going by each decade. Okay. Episode one and episode two. Okay. Episode one, episode two. Episode 1 started in the 50s, kind of like a I Love Lucy type of vibe, okay? Episode 2 was set in the um, 60s, kind of like the Mary Tyler Moore show. Not Mary Tyler Moore, but that one show that Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke, the show that they were on together back in the day. And then episode 3 and episode 4 are in the 70s, okay? Now, when I heard about the show, I said, how? Because Vision died in Infinity Wars. If you guys forgot, Vision died, okay? He was going to get the stone taken out. That's what they were in Wakanda for in Infinity Wars. They were going to get the stone taken out. But Thanos and, you know, people started coming and everything like that. Well, the invasion was starting to happen on Wakanda. And then um, that's what ended up happening. But... Thanos did end up taking Vision Stone, killing him. Vision is dead. Let's just make this clear. Vision is dead, okay? So I'm like, how is this coming together when Vision is dead? Like, what's going on? So the first episode is like, like I said, they're set in the 50s. And it's like, they're in this, you know, black and white type of TV show. Like I said, I Love Lucy type of show. And um vision he's um at work and of course um wanda she's like this housewife and he's trying to get um 
prepare dinner for his boss and everything like that. Of course, like mishaps and everything else happens. Okay, so we get a clue. I don't know if it was the um, helicopter. I think it was a helicopter in the bush because there was a helicopter and it had a sword symbol. Okay, it had a sword symbol. So it's like, okay, what's going on? All right. So, and then also when his boss was choking the wife, she was freak. She wasn't like shocked or anything. She wasn't like freaking out. She was just like very calm with it. She was like, honey, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. And then Wanda told Vision to do something and Vision um, helped his boss. Okay. So then episode two, um, it was set in the 60s and they're doing like this um, magic show or whatever. Her and Vision, Wanda and Vision, they're doing like this magic show to help with the fundraiser of like this neighborhood. And um, it's set in the 60s and um, there's like this rainstorm and they go outside and there's this guy and he has a sword symbol coming out of the sewer and vision is asking wanda what is that and she said no and then the guy turned around you know kind of like in a suspicious way but then also wanda was helping this neighborhood um the pta over like you know like the overly dedicated housewife or whatever who's in like charge of other housewives and everything like that. She also meets Geraldine. Um, Wanda accidentally like cut, accidentally um, broke the glass on like the, I forgot her name. Um, the woman in charge of like the PTAs and everything like that. And on the radio, she hears something saying, Wanda, Wanda, are you in there? And you look at Wanda, Wanda's freaking out. Cause like, what is going on? Like she's freaking out. And that was like episode two or whatever. Okay, so then episode three, this is set in the um, 70s. She's pregnant. Wanda's pregnant. And she is about to give birth and vision. He's, you know, about to get the doctor. Geraldine, who became like a good friend of Wanda's, um, she comes in and she helps Wanda give birth to her twins. Okay, this is where stuff gets a little shaky. So, when Vision is gone getting the doctor, um, Wanda is reflecting, oh my gosh, you know, twins. I had a twin. She said, is, what's his name, like Pet Petro or something? Petro or something? Y'all remember her twin in Age of Ultron. Y'all remember her and her twin were like bad guys or whatever. Uh, but then they end up turning good. But her brother got killed in Ultron. When she's talking about her brother, Geraldine says Ultron killed him. He got killed in Ultron. Geraldine, how do you know he got killed in Ultron? That sent Wanda off. Wanda was like, you need to go. Who are you? Why do you have that sword? What's that necklace? Geraldine is freaking out. Wanda was like, I think you need to go. Geraldine is trying to like calm Wanda down, but she was like, no, you need to go. And Vision is outside and the neighbors are saying that, um, you know, Geraldine isn't from here. She doesn't have a house. She doesn't have a family. And his neighbor was about to say, you know, we're not from here. We're here because, but his wife cuts him off. So then Vision goes into the house, turns into, you know, his superhero self. And Geraldine's not there. Wanda, he asked Wanda, Wanda, where's Geraldine? And Wanda was like, she left. But at the end of episode three, we seen Geraldine out on the on the ground, unconscious, like what just happened. Now, we're about to get into episode four and I'm about to tell y'all my theory. So, we get a flashback. To the past um you guys remember 
in Infinity Wars, Thanos captured all of the stones, okay? He captured all of the stones, okay? And he snapped his fingers. That caused everyone to disappear, only except for a select few. But everybody started disappearing into the quantum realm, okay? So, he snapped his fingers. We're getting gears back, and I guess this is after Endgame, when the Avengers did what they had to do. Everybody is starting to come back from the snap. And everybody's freaking out. What's going on? What's going on? What's this? I think her name was Monica. Is her name Monica? I think her name is Monica. But Geraldine, whatever. Geraldine's character. She's freaking out. She's in hospital. What's going on? What's going on? Everybody's freaking out. She go runs into the nurse and she was saying, you know, where's my mother? Where's my mother? Her mother died a couple of years ago. Her mother is best friend was best friends with Captain Marvel, Carol Denvers, play by play by um Brie Larson, her mom, her best friend. She died. Okay, so she's trying to go back into the sword building, the building, the sword, sword. Her mom found it. Okay, and so she gets an assignment for like missing people. So she goes to Westview. That's where she meets, um, I think his name was Agent Wu. Agent Wu. Okay. So she meets Agent Wu. And Agent Wu tells officers that there's no such thing as Westview. All right. Where are y'all from? Eastview. So it's like, what's going on? Okay. So she sends a helicopter with a sword symbol into the neighborhood, but it's gone. So she walks to the shield. She walks to it. She puts her hand. It's like this sort of shield. So you guys remember Wakanda. Wakanda had the shield around the city. Okay. That shield that was around Wakanda is kind of like the same thing. It's like a shield around Westview. And she puts her hand through it and she gets sucked into it. Okay. So we see Cat. Her name is Kat, and she was in the Thor movies. Um, she, like, worked with Natalie Portman's character. Um, she's going into, like, this FBI um, base headquarters with a bunch of other people. And she's doing her job, and she noticed that something's off about these wavelengths. So she does her thing, and she gets something from underneath the desk. And she turns on, she turns it on, and it's Wanda. Okay, and so she calls in the agent and they're all looking at it. They're like, what are these Avengers doing here? A show about Avengers? Isn't Vision dead? What's going on? So what happened is that, you know, everybody's doing their job. They send like this sword agent down into the sewer to see what's happening, um, you know, in S.H.I.E.L.D. or whatever, Westview. Okay, so they're getting all this equipment and they're identifying these people that's in the sitcoms, okay? These people are very much alive, okay? Because they're like, okay, this person here, this person there, this person is so-and-so, this person is so-and-so. So it's like, these people are real, okay? So they see Geraldine, okay? And they get to the part in episode three, when Geraldine kind of exposed herself when she says your brother was killed in Ultron and so they're trying to find a clip and it gets to the point where Wanda asks who she is but then it cuts to the end of the episode and they're like what's going on what's going on they're trying to find it but there's no footage there so hold on okay before before I get to it before that um they tried to like send a um, message to Wanda, like I said in the second episode, when she heard her name through the radio, Kat as Agent Wu say, Wanda, are you there? Are you there? Okay. He says it. Kat sees Wanda looking at the radio, but then it goes away. Okay. So we're about to get to the ending of the episode. So they leave to go do something, but we see what happened um at the end of um 
episode three because we're like how did Geraldine get to the outside world here's what happened so of course um Wanda is asking Geraldine how do you know my brother was killed in Ultron who are you what's with that necklace Geraldine is trying it was about to explain herself but Wanda said I think you need to go and she starts you know moving her powers whatever and she blasts Geraldine out into the house out of out into the real world and so vision comes in vision is dead vision dead vision like he was in in um infinity wars his head was there was like a big old hole in his head there was like no color to him he was just dull and wanda was freaking out wanda was like he asked her what's wrong and she's freaking out and then she like tries to shake herself and she opens up her eyes and it's him with like his natural self like he has color to him and his eyes are open and she's like nothing nothing's wrong dear and he's like where's Geraldine she didn't give him an answer okay that was the end of episode four now here is my theory of this whole show Marvel you tried to confuse us but some of us probably got it I'm probably I probably got it I don't know I'm probably far off but here's my theory Wanda is in denial. Wanda cannot accept the fact that Vision is dead because she didn't want to kill Vision. She didn't want Vision to die, okay? She wanted Vision to be alive and everything like that, okay? She didn't want Vision to go, but he had to go. He had to. He was about to die. He was dying, okay? Vision had to. <sighs> he had to go, unfortunately. Wanda cannot accept the fact that Vision is dead. So, I think that she created this alternate universe, this parallel universe, whatever y'all want to call it. She created this alternate universe and she brought these people in to this fictional city to where she envisioned a life with her vision and their kids. And she doesn't want an outsider to interfere in what she created. That is my theory. I think Wanda created this whole thing because she cannot accept the fact that Vision is dead. So she created this fake city. She created, she brought in these people and this is her happy life. She's with Vision. She has the kids and they're in their own little world and she will not let the outside world interfere to what she created. <laughs> Correct me if I am wrong or whatever, but that is my theory. I think that is what's happening and I think that is what this show is about because I'm like how is this WandaVision and they're saying that it's set after Infinity Wars or Endgame but Vision is dead y'all Wanda is in denial okay this hair this hair this hair this is why I keep messing with it this hair I don't like that sorry y'all but yes that is my theory if I'm off what are y'all theories I'm sorry I gave y'all a raggedy bs recap of all first four episodes but <laughs> wandavision has me shook i had to pause yesterday's episode and think and do the math to be like no this happened here this happened there no he is dead so it's like what is going on he was killed in ultron i was doing a whole bunch of math and my brain had to go back into the marvel movies but girl Wanda is in denial. She created this alternate universe to where it's just her envisioning the kids and they're in this happy world and she does not want any outsiders to interfere because it's going to make her go back to reality. That is my theory. If y'all agree with me, that's cool. If y'all have something else, put it in the comments. But y'all, I might have to put WandaVision in this, it's this lineup. I, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do it because... <laughs> Marvel, Marvel, you try to confuse me. You're trying it. You're trying it, but I'm figuring it out little by little. Okay. But y'all, say what y'all got to say in the comments. And girl, WandaVision is being added to this lineup. Okay. 
once again, I'm sorry for like the lackluster review recaps, but I just had to, I had to give y'all my theory because Wanda is in denial. She is in denial. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Peace. Love you.